What's new here is that you have the first uh, outlines to a possible deal. They're not official. They came from the uh, office of the director of national intelligence, the lawyer, in fact, Robert Litt, and I'm told by a senior intelligence official that this was a private conversation. It was one lawyer having a private con what he thought was a private conversation with another lawyer, and in that conversation, he was doing his own handicapping of what a deal might look like. And he said, listen, it might look like three to five years in prison, a trial, etc." Uh, but they said that's not an official position of the U.S. government. Right, because he wouldn't actually be negotiating on behalf of the Justice exactly. Department. Exactly. Right? ODNI is not a party right. to these talks. This is Justice Department to Snowden's lawyers. Uh, and the Justice Department came back to us and said, listen, there's no change in our position that if he does come back, it's going to involve jail time mm -hmm. and a trial. But, but let's be honest. It is interesting. You had a senior government official throwing a number out there. I'm told right. it wasn't a trial balloon, but it does give you an idea of what people are talking about uh, as to what a deal could like, look like for Edward Snowden to come back to the U.S. And the former Attorney General Eric Holder talked about this in this interview. What exactly did he say? So Holder said something very interesting. He basically handed one to Snowden, saying that Snowden, uh, in the words of Holder, that, that he sparked a necessary debate hmm. about surveillance and, and so on, which is a very interesting thing for the nation's, well, former, former. top I wonder if official. he would have said that if he was, uh, I don't remember not. him saying that when he was in office. But as you know, former officials, they truly speak their mind. That's so true. it seems that if he's truly speaking his mind, he's kind of saying, hey, you got to hand it to him that had he not revealed these things illegally, mm -hmm. as we know, and broken you know, secrets, many secrets for the U.S. government, it's some of the most sensitive secrets, uh, that we wouldn't have had this debate. We as a country would not have had this debate about surveillance, phone, uh, metadata, bulk collection, et cetera, which is a position that you've heard from, uh, for instance, folks on the Hill who's, who, you know, who are probably privacy advocates, other privacy organizations. Very interesting to hear that from the former attorney general. And how are people responding to that quickly? Well, I, if you talk to the critics of Snowden, they're, they're, their heads are exploding, right? Mm -hmm. They're saying, how, how can you uh, say that someone who broke a law, broke a law, he was inside, he worked uh, inside the intelligence agency, inside one of the most sensitive intelligence agencies, he broke the law. What kind of precedent are you setting for others saying that, well, you know, right. yeah, you broke the law, but you might be doing the country a service. There are a lot of people who aren't happy with that. Because that's a bit concerned that there will be other Snowdens out Absolutely. there. Absolutely. That, huge focus of the intelligence community is how do you prevent this from happening in the future. Uh, do you know if anyone's been able to reach Snowden's lawyers about this? Or I personally have not been able to reach the lawyers, but we did reach out, as I said, to the Justice Department. They said, mm -hmm. listen, nothing's changed. But it is interesting as well, and I don't think a lot of Americans are aware of this, that there is something of a negotiation, or at least communication, right. underway between Snowden's lawyers and the Justice Department. One other thing to keep in mind is that you know the intelligence community, they want to have him back. Mm -hmm. Not to throw him a party, you they know, and get him know, a cake. They want to see what he knows. They want to see what he knows and what he gave up to the Russians, what he Absolutely. took, because they're extremely concerned about what was in his laptop uh, and what the Russians and the Chinese, remember he went through Hong Kong Absolutely. and the Chinese know uh, as a result of what he took from, uh, from U.S. intelligence.